Hey guys, what's up? V8 Merc here. I want to do a little video on the event that occurred in Colorado uh, with the whole shooting and everything. I first want to start off by saying how um, sorry I am for the people there and um, if any of the viewers, if you guys were directly affected by the situation, um, my thoughts go out to you, my prayers go out to you and your families. It's just so unfortunate that something like this uh, could happen, that an individual would think of doing something like this and actually do it. Um, it's just, you know, completely wrong. I'm not even, I'm in California, and I can't tell you how mad I am at this person. I don't understand what would push you to do something like this. Um, I was also starting to get angry when I was watching the news broadcasts of, um, of the whole situation. I was not so much angry, I was like frustrated with the way the media was handling it. And I was watching MSNBC and they had some guest speakers and anchors were talking about politics uh, over this whole situation. They weren't even like covering what was really going on. They weren't actually, you know, telling us who was affected by it, what was going on, you know, how are these people doing, where are they, you know, things like that. Uh, they started going into gun politics, which was really frustrating to hear. I mean, how stupid could you be to bring that in right away? And, you know, they just started pointing the fingers. And I was listening to this former governor, Pennsylvania governor, Ed Randall, or Ed Randall, don't know how to pronounce his last name. I don't have the spelling for it. And he was he had mentioned some stuff, and I wanted to share that with you guys and see what you guys' uh, thoughts and opinions are on what he, what he said and what the, uh, the other people said as well. So he goes to talk about reinstating the assault weapons ban and that we should have no assault rifles, no M16s, no AK-47s. Well, the thing is, is we can't even get AK-47s or M16s anyways and um, or full auto weapons to begin with in certain states. There's, there's a good amount of states that don't allow those. There are some states where you can get them, and if you, if you do want them, you have to pos uh, possess a certain kind of license uh, called a Class 3. Uh, license to own fully automatic weapons and the records on someone who has a class 3 and full auto weapons is uh, there's more records of them and there's a I think there's a second serial number given out or there's something like that. I don't know because I don't have a full auto weapon but I I read up on the stuff required um, if, if you do want to have one and it's more restricted so it's very hard for someone to get one to begin with and the price tag on those guns is so high on m16 or ak-47 if you can find one um, the price tag is extremely high i mean it's up in the, over ten thousand dollars and maybe even twenty grand to own the rifle alone then the fees to transfer one of those is you know i think it's a few hundred dollars or a couple hundred dollars on top of the other uh, transfer fee the standard transfer fee so it's a lot to own one and then the records there's a lot more records on it, so it's not a, it's not something a uh, illegitimate person would want to go through, anyways. Um, and they don't even want to go through a, a regular deal on a regular rifle because they don't want to do a legitimate deal. They don't want to have anything tracing them back. So they're talking about, you know, they talked about that. And here's a direct quote that he said: um, "Limit the number of bullets sold to be put into clips." Let me say that one more time: "Limit the number of bullets sold." to be put into clips. I'm not exactly sure what he's saying. I have a few ideas. Uh, my first idea is that he's saying to limit the magazine capacity, but in his next point he says to limit clips to 11 rounds. So that's not what the first statement means. Uh, the second thing I think he might be saying is to limit the amount of rounds that can be sold to a person on a given day, like say 50 rounds a day or maybe 50 rounds a week or whatever. It could be that. I mean, I don't know what he's saying. and. I, if I don't understand, and I'm a gun enthusiast, I'm a gun guy, I'm, you know, I, re, I live for guns, you know, I love my guns, and I don't understand what he's saying, because he's not informed, and he's just saying this kind of stuff. Limit the number of bullets sold to be put into clips. Makes no sense to me at all. Um, and then the next point he was saying, to limit the clips to 11 rounds, I don't know why 11, maybe he means 10 in the magazine and 1 in the chamber. Well, you can't put more than 1 in the chamber anyways, so I don't, I st again, I don't know where, what he's saying and where he's getting his facts or information from. And they're obviously wrong anyways. Um, one of the dumbest things he said was that he doesn't like that law-abiding citizens can buy 12 handguns a year. You can buy one handgun per month, uh, I believe in most or almost all the states. And 
he says he doesn't like law-abiding citizens uh, to have the opportunity to buy 12. Well, if they're law-abiding citizens, then what's the problem? I don't understand. He doesn't explain, you know, any more on that. That's kind of dumb that you would say something like that. You, there's law-abiding citizens, and you don't trust them. What's? I don't. I don't get you. Um, uh, he goes on to say some stupid stuff, like just outlandish. He goes, uh, "Who needs um, a nuclear rocket launcher?" I don't. I'd never heard of a nuclear rocket launcher. So I don't think anybody even has a, a rocket launch pad in their backyard. So I don't know what a nuclear rocket launcher is. Maybe it's shoulder fired. I don't know where he's. I don't know where he saw one. You know, I don't know what state would allow one either. Um, and he also talks about who shoots. A, he says if if these rifles like this AR on the background that you're seeing, this is not an assault weapon. This is a California legal rifle. It's you know got the bullet button and everything. This is 180 degrees in the opposite direction. This is considered a long rifle. That's it. A semi-automatic long rifle. That's all. And he says, who needs this kind of rifle? Who shoots a deer 17 times? I've never heard of anybody shoot a deer 17 times. Never seen a video on it. Never heard a discussion about it. So again, I don't know where he's getting any of his facts from. But almost all of his facts are bogus facts. They're not true. They're just things that elicit response from people who don't know anything about rifles and they don't understand them so they don't like them and then when they hear these facts then they go oh yeah I don't like them more I want to get rid of guns because of what that guy says you know he's a former governor he must know what he's talking about well it's far from the truth this guy doesn't know jack about what he was saying and it just frustrates the hell out of me when I hear you know bogus facts being stated uh, I just remembered one piece of information from a long time ago, there's this lady. It's a YouTube video, I believe, a little little snippet. This lady sh is showing a, I think, a 416 ch uh, caliber rifle, like one of those big overboard rifles, um, a big bore's um, precision rifle, say like a 50 Barrett. And she said, "Yeah, you can buy, um, I think it was incendiary ammo." And she's describing the ammunition and saying that it's heat seeking. It's a bullet that's heat seeking. Uh, sorry, heat seeking, and she's saying, "Who needs a heat seeking round to hunt?" And see, again, her facts are completely wrong. There's no such thing as a heat seeking bullet, at least not yet. And it's just when someone hears that, "Oh my God, heat seeking bullet!" You know, you could shoot it straight, and it will start curving and following someone or something. I don't, I don't understand. Facts are completely wrong. Um, but that wasn't in this broadcast. That was something I just had remembered. And the last thing was this other guy, the a Brady spokesman. I don't know if this was the guy. I don't. I don't know. He was some spokesperson for Brady campaign, and he started to advertise a petition that they have on their website, and it was false advertisement. He was saying because they were discussing at this point about stopping criminals from buying guns, and he was saying that if you want to stop criminals from buying guns, uh, you know, buying legitimate guns at stores, because he thinks, I don't know, or he's saying that criminals can buy guns, uh, can still buy them, uh, then go to the website and sign this petition. Well, that's not true. In, in all the states, if you're a criminal, you cannot buy a gun. You cannot. If you are mentally defective, you cannot. If you are mentally ill, anything, you cannot buy a gun at all. So that has already been instated anyways. And he's also advertising a petition. This petition could be petitioning something else, like banning all guns in general, all handguns, all shotguns, all rifles, any gun. So he's false advertising this petition. Um, and that's just wrong. I mean, I caught that, and I just started shaking my head. Was, this is ridiculous. Why this person would do something like this? And, you know, it's just he's just trying to con the people that are watching. And that's what I think. They're, they're all just conning us. Uh, conning, not us. They're conning the people who don't even know. And they're informing people with the wrong facts. One of the last things I want to leave you guys off with is uh, the same the Brady guy. He said, um, God bless you, Governor. He's speaking to the former governor. He said, God bless you, Governor. If the others showed the same leadership, we would have no problems. And that's in response to, if we would have no guns, we would have no problems. Because obviously, if the cops and robbers have guns, then there'd be no problems. Because the robbers are going to buy illegitimate guns, and the cops are going to have their guns uh, issued by the state, which are sometimes assault weapons, full auto capable, that everything's going to be all right, right? Because when seconds count, the cops are only minutes away. 
I just uh, I just wanted to share those facts with you guys. I wanted to hear what you guys thought. Um, again, I mean no disrespect to what was going on. That's why I tried to wait. Um, and uh, just uh, share your thoughts down below in the comments. And um, that's all I have to say. The V8 Merc, signing out.